The Mobile Electronics Association presents our industry's Springtime Knowledge Fest at the Indiana Convention Center starting Sunday, April 9th and finishing up Tuesday, April 11, 2017. Hello, I'm Dell Ellis of Dell Ellis International on behalf of the mobile electronics industry and you. In this short video, we're going to be discussing the third pillar on how to obtain greater achievement. And our word for this pillar is persistent. <laughs> we're going to have to become persistent if we truly desire to obtain greater achievement. Of course, the word desire was our first pillar. Then we had faith, which was our second pillar, and of course, faith without corresponding actions is futile. In this pillar, however, we're going to simply be focusing on this word persistence, or may I say persistence. What does it mean to be persistent? It means to continue firmly or obstinately in a course of action in spite of difficulty or opposition. It's kind of like faith in a way. You know, not being moved by what you hear, not being moved by what you can see, and definitely not being moved by how you feel. That's kind of like faith. But it is being determined no matter what. My attitude is that I'm going to attain greater achievement. I'm not going to let anything or anyone stop me. Especially, you know, myself. You say, especially me, Dell? Yeah, seriously, me. I asked my mentor, John Maxwell, what was the number one obstacle that he had to overcome? And he said this, the number one obstacle in his life was himself. Now here we have the world's number one leadership trainer in the world and he's saying that the number one obstacle in his life was himself. Now if you're going to attain greater achievement, you're going to have to understand that the only thing, the one and only thing that can stop you is you. And to succeed in anything, we're going to have to pay the price. Bill Bradley said, ambition is the path to success and persistence is the vehicle that's going to get you there. And I got a question for you. How ambitious are you? are you? Are you willing to get in that vehicle persistence to get you on that path to success? You know, is your business growing? And if it is growing, what percentage of your marketplace share have you gained over the last year? Or have we gone backwards? Of course, is it as high as our industry standard? Because if it's not, you're definitely going backwards, but there is an answer. Now, if your average is above, where's your willingness to help others, I might ask? I'm sure somebody helped you in your life, and, and let me ask you this, what if they hadn't? Where would you be today if they hadn't helped you? Now I'm going to share a little bit of my own personal history. At 15 years old, a man was willing to help me and he showed me how to sell. <laughs> then he showed me something that was more valuable than showing me how to sell. He shared with me where to get help. Now the price was $30 a month. And of course the equivalent of that today would almost be $200. I had to make the quality decision. <laughs> do I stay mediocre or do I pay the price? <laughs> well, I still have my cassettes which, that I still listen today. Of course, I went ahead and paid the price and now I'm passionate about changing lives. Same way he, was, he changed my life, that's what I want to do to help you change your life. Now the author of Think and Grow Rich, the book that has made more billionaires and millionaires than any other book in the United States history said about persistence. And he said, patience, 
persistence, and perspiration make an unbeatable combination for success. Unbeatable combination for success. That's the one, two, three punch. Number one, patience. Number two, persistence. Number three, perspiration. It's going to take hard work, but one of the key ingredients you must understand is persistence. My first mentor said, "Growing, you're either growing or disintegrating. There's no way to stay plateaued. My mentor, the greatest sales and leadership trainer, Mr. Edwards, okay? That's who taught me that. Now, Harvey McKay says, I've known entrepreneurs who went on, were not great salespeople and they didn't know how to code or were not particularly charismatic leaders. But I don't know any entrepreneur who has ever achieved any level of success without persistence and determination. Now here we have the one-two punch, persistence and determination. Now the founder of YouTube says, persistence and endurance will make you omnipotent. Here we have a different one-two punch. We have persistence and we have endurance working for us. Now, the majority of men who meet with failure, it's because of their lack of persistence in creating new plans to take the place of those plans which failed. That was Napoleon Hill. You know, he's, like I said, he wrote Think and Grow Rich. Now, now let's break this down for a minute. People that fail, well, why do they fail? It's because of their lack of persistence in creating new plans. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And their plans are to take the place, the new plans are to take the place of the plans that fail. I can go on and on about our third pillar here, persistence. However, for the lack of time, let's just get to the point, okay? <laughs> okay. Are you alright with that? Now, when you fail, you have to be persistent about making new plans. I once heard a wise man say, you know, a wise man learns from his mistakes, a, a genius learns from others. So, so I, I looked up that quote because I believe in giving proper credit to those who credit is due. And I also believe in, in giving credit to those who I learned from. So give credit where credit is due, that's all. <laughs> of course, the author of this quote is unknown. But here's what the real quote has to say. Remember now, I'm just the messenger, okay? It says, an idiot will never learn from his mistakes. A smart person will learn from their mistakes. But a genius will learn from others' mistakes. So, so there we have three types of people, isn't there? <laughs> you know, idiots who never learn from their mistakes. Okay, then we have smart people who learn from their mistakes. And then of course we have number three, and that is a genius who learns from others' mistakes. Now, I don't know about you, but I would prefer to be a genius. It doesn't hurt as much, does it? Now, what category would you feel you'd belong in? <laughs> I hope you say that, you know, you want to be in the genius category. So let, let's talk about this, you know, how to get to this genius category. And, and just as important, how to create a new plan so that you can become more persistent in creating a new plan of action so that you can obtain greater achievement. Now, I know a place where men and women are going to be coming together to share their mistakes so you don't have to, which make you a genius at that point, wouldn't it? And then they're also going to share their successes so you can create a new plan to obtain greater achievement. But what if? What if that gentleman would have never showed me how to sell? You could say, well, you know, you wouldn't have to put up with this, right? What if he would have never shared with me where to invest in my personal growth to give me a plan to obtain greater achievement in my life? 
what if? I mean, what if I hadn't invested in myself? What if I never did anything to make myself better? Would I have gotten better? Absolutely not. What if I didn't pay the price? And I'm not just talking about the money part of it, but paying the price to learn and make what I learned me. See, anything you learn, you need to take it and make it you. You can't be me, I can't be you. But what about this? What if I would have never learned from my mistakes? What would that have made me? <laughs> you don't need to answer that. <laughs> and what if I didn't learn from others? What would that have made me? Today I'm happy to say that I'm learning from others' mistakes. <laughs> Very happy to say, I might add. Well, it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> if you want to learn to become a genius, to go to that place where you can learn and write out a plan of success and bypass the failures that others have experienced in their life, then you will want to, to, to go or make a decision right now. Make that quality decision to come to the Indiana Convention Center Sunday, April 9th through Tuesday, April 11th. Now, persistent is our third pillar of how to obtain, excuse me, how to obtain greater achievement. I'm Dell Ellis, and not only am I persistent, but more importantly, I'm passionate about changing lives, and I can't wait to see you in Indy.